let's start off by drawing the circuit. Power supply, sister, sister. We have another one. Resistor, then your capacitor. This is 9 ohms, 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 30 microfarads, and 4 ohms. Alright. Okay, for part A, we are supposed to find the current through the 9 ohm resistor. Uh, so to do that, we need, we're going to need to find the total current, and to do that, we're going to need to find um, total resistance. So the 8 and one of the 4 um, ohm resistors are in series. So they would have a total of 12 ohms. But then it's also, they're also in parallel with the other 4 ohm resistor. It's going to be 1 over 12 ohms plus 1 over 4 ohms. It's going to be 1 over 3 ohms. Which is also going to be, which it turns out to be 3 ohms. Then. Then you have the 9 ohm resistor, which is in series with the rest, so 9 ohms plus 3 ohms is, what is it, 12, 12 ohms. Okay, so with the 12 ohms, using Ohm's law, you do V equals IR. Or I equals V over R. Total voltage is 120 volts. Divided by total resistance, er, yeah, is 12. So the current is 10 amps. And that is your answer for A. All right. Uh, part B. Part B asks for the current in the eight ohm resistor. Um, okay, so we already found that the eight, the two four ohm resistors and the eight ohm resistor that are connected in parallel have a total resistance of three ohms. That is between the 4 ohm resistor, the 2 4 ohm resistors, and the 8 ohm resistor. Uh, the 4 and the 8 were in um, series, and then in parallel with the, f the other 4. Yeah. Okay, um, so to find the, vo the current through the 8 ohm resistor, we can use Ohm's law again. So, but first we need to find the voltage through the, how much voltage is going through the 8 ohm resistor. So, V equals IR, ohms off. Uh, total current we found in A was 10 amps times the total resistance in there. 30 volts. So there's a total of 30 volts going through the 8 ohm resistor. Okay, so we can use Ohm's law again. Equals thirty volts over resistance. Well, for the resistance, we're going to use 12 ohms because after the branch from the 9 ohm resistor, that goes one goes to the 4 and then one goes to the 
the 8 ohm resistor and the 4 ohm resistor which are connected in series so we're going to add those together because current's going to go through both branches so it would be 12 ohms that's the 8 and the 4 so uh, and current comes out to be 2.5 amps through the 8, resi eight ohm resistor. Okay, part C asks for the voltage across the capacitor. Yeah. But because the capacitor and the is parallel to a 4 ohm resistor, their, their voltages will be the same. So we could just solve for the voltage of the 4 ohm resistor. So V capacitor will equal to the current flowing that sec through that section which we calculated in B which is 2.5 amps times the 4 ohm resistor going to equal 10 volts. That's a voltage cross capacitor. Okay, part D asks for the amount of energy stored in the capacitor. So to do this we can use the formula U equals one half C V squared and then just plug in plug in chub one half thirty microfarads times the voltage through the capacitor which is ten volts squared. Okay, so plug it into your calculator and you should get fifteen hundred microfarad or microjoules. Part E. In Part E, um, the connection at point P fails, and the current in the 9 ohm resistor becomes zero. Calculate the total amount of energy dissipated in the 8 ohm resistor after the connection fails. Okay, so there's not going to be any more current going through the 9, so your circuit becomes... Two four ohm resistors, an eight ohm resistor, and then the capacitor. So the energy dissipated through the eight ohm resistor is going to be a fraction of the total of the total energy that was stored in the capacitor. So we can multiply it by the fractions. And this will give you U total being 1500 um, microjoules. will give you 250 microjoules dissipated through the 8 ohm resistor.